We're here with Malcolm Foster in the echocardiogram lab. Malcolm, tell me about the echocardiogram. What do we see here? Well, this is a very common procedure. It's an ultrasound test. So the person comes in, they lie on their side, and we take a microphone, an ultrasound transducer, on the chest wall. It brings sound waves through and through the heart, and we make images. So what kind of images are we looking for? Can you see a heart valve? Yes, so we see all four heart valves and the heart muscle, the sac around the heart, the aorta, all the chambers of the heart, the four chambers. Do you, do you see the heart muscle move? Can you see it contract as you're doing it? We do, and we can calculate the volume and the pumping function, the ejection fraction. Is that one of the most important things that you get out of it, the ejection fraction? See how strong that heart is beating? Yes, very, very important. Can you tell if there's a weak valve, a leaky valve, or a, a valve that's not letting blood go through it, a stenotic valve? That's right. We can, we can see both, and we can determine how severe. So it could be mild, moderate, or severe amount of stenosis or regurgitation, sticky valve or leaky valve. Can we take a look at the echocardiogram now? Sure. Malcolm, this is a real echocardiogram now. Tell me what you're seeing here. I see some black areas and some white areas. So tell me what part of the heart this is. So we start with the pumping chamber of the heart, the left ventricle. So this is the pumping chamber and the, the ventricle is normal in size. It's the heart muscle has normal thickness. The pumping function of the heart is normal. Then this is the mitral valve where it allows blood flow into the left ventricle. This is the aortic valve where the blood flow ejects from the heart into the aorta. Now, can you tell if that aortic valve is leaking by just looking at this? What, we what can. Would you see? So we would see if this valve were thickened and narrowed, it did not open properly, that would be stenosis. And then we apply color across there to see if there's any leakage of blood flow backflow. And he does not have either. Now, could you just walk down and do this in the abdomen and the legs and everything else? We can. We can do ultrasound of all the blood vessels, believe it or not, even from within the brain, the neck, the heart, the kidneys, down the legs. Now, Malcolm, this is a very expensive machine right here. What are the chances that we could have this in every examining room when you come in just to see your regular doctor? What's available? Well, it's actually available now. So there is a handheld device that's about the size of a smartphone. And then the probe, which is attached by a cable, allows us to take the very same pictures, the very same images as an expensive unit that we have in the hospital. So in the examining room, I could run this over my heart and I could look at the valves on the smartphone. That's right. So compared to a stethoscope, for example, we get much more information, a much more detailed look at the heart with a handheld ultrasound. Malcolm Foster, this is great. Thank you. It's been exciting for me. Thank you so much, Dr. Bob.